Could there be an energy vortex in Lake Erie? Like any large body of water, the lake has a cleansing and rejuvenating effect. But is there more to this than the positive ions coming from the water? There are large salt deposits beneath the lake, which comes from the remains of a massive inland sea that dried up more than 400 million years ago. This vast deposit lies 2,000 feet below Lake Erie. The Ohio salt mines yield 5 million tons of rock salt every year. The metaphysical properties of salt date back to ancient times. Salt has been used to cleanse, purify, and as a preservative. But as it turns out, the salt deposits aren't the only thing contributing to the energy vortex. I found out only recently that Lake Erie is also the home to the largest geode in the world. Located on Putten Bay in South Bass Island, one of a small string of islands located off the northwest coast in Ohio. The islands have long been known as an epicenter for drunken debauchery. Every summer the islands are packed with party people going nuts and carrying on to the wee hours of the morning. Could the energy of the geode be contributing to the people behaving with such reckless abandon? On one of the last days of the season, I set out to explore this natural wonder and experience it with new eyes. Not as a party zone, but as a potentially untapped energy vortex hiding in plain sight all these years. The geode sits beneath the Heinemann Winery, which was established in 1887. It was discovered in 1897 while digging a well 33 below the establishment. As we descended down the narrow staircase, the geode came into sight. I was expecting to feel a surge of energy, but instead I was taken by the silence and the stillness of it. Such a grave contrast to the party atmosphere above. It is a remnant from an ancient era when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, formed from the glaciers over 12 to 15,000 years ago. The crystals were hues of light blue, which is due to the large amount of celestine content. Celestine immediately brought to mind the celestine prophecy and the word celestial itself, meaning heavenly, divine, or not of this world. The cave is surrounded by bedrock, and five tons of rock were taken out to create this cave, initially to create fireworks. At one point, the owners halted the excavation and decided to give tours instead, thus preserving the cave for future generations. Tours are given daily, and a glass of wine from the winery is included with the price of admission. In conclusion, the Crystal Cave at Putten Bay is a wondrous site that is definitely worth visiting.